Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you um, several different games on Ghost Tricks. Uh, I've built probably seven different versions, and so I have tons and tons, so let's get into it. This is going to be one from the 29th. So this is one of my earlier builds that played Shield Crush. Um, but I definitely kept the main focus of the deck around needle ceilings and um, double MST. But this is when I was first playing Ghost Trick, so I wasn't really sure as how to keep everything flowing in a really good uh, way. But I think I've gotten better towards um, the middle of this month. So he's just doing things, and I'm like, I don't know how to react. But I did lose that needle sale, which was upsetting. And then this is Snow Maiden. She's probably one of my least favorites, but she is the most helpful. Um, you know, when she's sent to the graveyard by, you know, battle, you can do things and permanently turn that card face down defense. And then Witch. Obviously, she, her, one of her two effects is she can flip the card, opponent side, face down, and of course, all ghost tricks at the end uh, of whenever they're done, they can flip themselves face down once per turn. So that's pretty good. They are tricksters. They are good. Uh, ghost tricks definitely have some good features, and one of them has to be ghost trick lantern and ghost trick specter. Ghost trick lantern is like this deck's version of Battle Fader. Pretty much any time you are directly attacked or some, your opponent targets your Ghost Trick monsters, you can, or their face of Ghost Trick monsters, you can negate the attack. In Special Summon Lantern from hand in face down defense position. And Spectre, any time a Ghost Trick is destroyed by battle and or card effects, you can special summon Spectre from your hand in face down defense position and draw one card. So that is pretty cool. Now, Ghost Strikes don't come out until Shadow Spectres, which is going to be the next set after Judgment of the Light and after the Tins and all the Structure Decks come out. So it's going to be pretty interesting. This, this is a pretty slow build. This was a pretty slow game. This guy took probably forever and I was getting really agitated because he was acting like a cocky bastard thinking that he ruled the world. But um, clearly he didn't know what he was in for. But I've been playing a lot and I've noticed that people really don't know how to react. And uh, some of the duels I will show you, they a lot of the meta is really affected by this. I know I've beaten dragons a few times. Uh, Dark World I've beaten a few times. A lot of different decks just don't know how to react because it keep just I just keep throwing out anti-meta uh, against them. It's it's kind of like I don't know. It's just it's just a new way to look at anti-meta. I guess is the best way to say it. Ghost Trick Out is a really good card. Uh, you know, reveal when Ghost Trick in your hand. And all face down defense position monsters and ghost tricks cannot be targeted as short by card effects. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then here's Spectre that I was talking about earlier. Now, um, depending on what kind of ghost tricks you play, depends on what you play for your extra deck. Um, and after this, he quit. So let's show you versus Constellars. Again, this is one of my earlier builds. This one played Stealth Bird, pretty, pretty awesome. And this earlier build also played Fiendish Chain, which I've now taken out, and I can show you guys my deck in a, another video. You cannot pass. I, I, I warn that. Mystic Tomato is also a really good card to play depending on your style. Uh, Mystic Tomato is really good to get out uh, 
Ghost Trick Maiden, which is her originally it was Yukioni, and um, pretty much, you know, just special summon her and attack, take that small hit, and permanently turn their card in face down defense position. So that's pretty damn cool. And I hit him again for that thousand because he can't do anything about it. And of course, I have to set my favorite card in these deck, this deck, and all my ghost trick decks is Needle Ceiling. You shall not pass, and you get destroyed. Obviously, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into with the ghost tricks with uh, against Constellars or anything like that. But I did try my best, and it's gotten better. Let's just put it like that. Ouch. 400. Of course, it went back to hand. Most of the time when I do play against decks, um, it can be slow depending on obviously what cards I have, etc, etc, but it's not always a bad thing for it to be slow because the deck can really build up depending on your style, um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And then, of course, I can just flip them face down. And after that, he just kind of quit. So, yeah, guys, that is the... F those are the two I'm going to show you now. And then later on, I'll put up more videos of all these different ones. Because I have tons and tons of videos just all through here. So everybody rate, comment, subscribe, all the good YouTube stuff, and hopefully I can post another video soon. Bye guys!